<laughs> no, I agree, Playboy. Listen, man, Anthony Joshua's in the dressing room right now, nervous as hell, man. Just like Johnny Nelson said, man, it's not about the boxing. It's not about the punching. It's not about training. That's secondary, man. Anthony Joshua got to mentally get over the fact that he lost to Eustick. He's going to have to mentally get over the fact of all his insecurities, man. It starts mentally with Anthony Joshua. If he can get past that. If he can look his opponent in the eye and be fearless and be the Anthony Joshua of old, he can win this fight easy. But mentally, this is what Anthony Joshua is going to be facing. He's going to be fighting that first. Now, like Johnny Nelson said, I agree with Johnny Nelson when he says that, you know, look, Anthony Joshua went into the fight with Usyk without a game plan. It, there was no game plan. It was stand tall, shoot the jab, try to stay in front of the guy, and, you know, hopefully land in something big, hurt your boy, get him up out of there. Listen, he didn't plan for plan B. He didn't plan for plan C. Yusuke went in there and did what he's supposed to have done against a taller fighter. Perpetual movement. Johnny Nelson said, listen, when you're dealing with a guy like Yusuke, he gives you too much to look at. He's moving his head side to side. He's moving his feet. He's using angles. He's shooting different shots for variations, and he's giving Anthony Joshua too many things to look at. Anthony Joshua had his head right in the middle of the line. He didn't move off the line. He was getting hit with, with straights. He was getting hit as your boy Yusuf was going to the body, come upstairs. He was getting hit with shots that a big man shouldn't have got hit with, with as, as skilled as Anthony Joshua. So that's going to be another hurdle. You're going to have to get over the fact of what Yusuf is doing to, to, to get his offense off. And that's the movement. And that's why I say Anthony Joshua, listen, this is going to be his toughest test. First mentally, then his skill set. And then the third thing, people, is if he can, you know, adapt. If he can change the game plan mid-fight, right? He's going to have to get over those hurdles. And this is going to make Anthony Joshua a better fighter. Just like your boy Tyson Fury. You can put Tyson Fury in any weather and he will adjust. That's why I say, you know, skill-wise, you know, your boy Tyson Fury got it all, man. You dig? Jab, box, Hit hard, you know, movement, stamina, you know. And at the end of the day, people, I think Anthony Joshua can do it. I know Anthony Joshua got too many people in the kitchen telling him what to do. You understand me? There's reports of him, you know, reaching out to other people other than his camp to see suggestions on what he think, you know, they he should do in this fight. That tells me mentally, like Johnny Nelson said, he's not there. And I think that Anthony Joshua is going to go through this fight, go through the motions, and find himself, himself. He's going to find the way to win. He's going to look at this guy and say, I got him. Because I tell you, in the middle of that fight, he did. Okay, the fight about to go down. Okay, people, you rocking with your boy CBT. Go to the next video. We going live on this thing. Anthony Joshua supporter, man. Put your fists in the air, man. If you're Anthony Joshua supporter, man, put something in the comment section, man. If you riding with Anthony Joshua, you believe he going to knock out. <laughs> You had to figure new media, new perspective. Cash and boxing. Cash and boxing talk.